Hi, it's Alex. Today I want to talk about the topic of salary cuts. I frequently see salary cuts discussed in the news, and it seems like there's almost invariably a strong resistance to them. Like if there's an organization, it could be a business or a government entity, and they're considering cutting people's pay as a way of dealing with some, some sort of budget shortfall, it seems like there's really strong resistance to it. And to me, it seems like there's often stronger resistance to that than there is when there are just straight up layoffs. And I want to examine why this is, and why I think it's problematic, and what I think we can do to fix it in our society. And I think it's tough to fix, but I think it's something we can fix. People tend to respond differently to pay increases and pay cuts. And I think part of the reason is that in American society, there's a tendency of people to live very close to their means, or beyond their means. So there's a tendency for people to spend about as much as they're earning, or in many cases to go into debt because they're spending more than they're earning. And it makes sense that if you're in that circumstance, the idea of a pay cut would be absolutely terrifying. Because it's like, I have a certain amount of income, a certain amount of expenditures, and it's like I'm paying bills, maybe I have like a car loan that I'm paying, maybe I'm paying a mortgage, maybe I have a credit card payment, and all of a sudden my pay gets cut, I'm in trouble. I might have trouble paying my bills, I might get my car repossessed, if it goes on long enough, I might lose my home. Those are really high stakes. So it makes sense that in those circumstances, even like a small pay cut could be really threatening to people. On the other hand, say I have a salary, the same salary, but I'm living within my means. And let's say over time I pay off my mortgage, so I completely own my home with no debt. I've paid off my car, I completely own my car, and I don't have any credit card debt and I'm not really spending as much as I'm bringing in. I'm like accumulating wealth, and I start investing, and like I start building up my net worth. In that case, someone comes along and they're like, hey, we might need to cut your salary by like 10%. Do I even care? Uh, I mean, yeah, it's kind of a bummer, but like, I'm probably in that scenario, I'm probably earning enough from investment income that it doesn't really matter. So it's going to be a small thing, I'm probably not going to resist it very much, I'm probably going to see it as a small annoyance. On the other hand, even in a scenario like that, if I were to get straight up laid off, that still might be hard for me. So I want to sort of point out something that goes on in our society. Because so many people are living kind of on the margins, when an organization is considering whether to have pay cuts of a small amount, or to just straight off lay people off, and then keep paying the rest of the people the same amount, because our society is structured in this way that people are like right living on the margins, organizations tend to favor the layoffs over the pay cuts. And I think this is really problematic. Layoffs can be really hard on the people who get laid off but they can also be really hard on the organizations. Like if you have an organization and there are all these people who've been working in it for a lot of time, for a number of years, they have expertise and knowledge and skill. And if one of them is just suddenly out of the picture, there's a huge loss of that person's knowledge. And there's a lot of time and energy and effort that needs to be expended to train a new person to get that knowledge. Like often you can't just have someone come in and get it, it can take like years to accumulate that. So if a person has like a pay cut corresponding to a decrease in responsibilities, like say they have, have to work fewer hours now, their job duties are lessened, they're still able to sort of impart that critical knowledge to the organization. So I think there are a lot of ways in which pay cuts actually are better than layoffs for the organization. Now also for the individuals, if you're one of those people who has your job kind of scaled back a little bit, there's a lot that you can do. There are a lot of different activities I do in my life that earn me income on the side, and I've always been that way. Now I recognize not everyone does that, but it's something that a lot of people can do. When I was a kid, I used to do yard work, babysitting, and stuff like that, 
And as I got older, I started doing computer consulting, freelance writing, tutoring, things like that. Some of these things can actually bring in a lot of money. So there are a lot of people who, if their job were scaled back and they thought about it, they could find ways to get supplemental money. So there are ways you can cope with your job being scaled back in a way that it's sort of harder to cope if you're just straight up laid off. So all these things together, uh, there are a lot of benefits to saving, but this is one of them. This is a benefit that if everyone in society were living more within their means, I think organizations would be able to do, make better decisions when they are in tough financial situations. Um, and I think that it would, I think everyone in society would be better off for it. So I know it's tough, it's hard to just sort of say, hey, uh, I'm going to change my spending habits, I'm going to change spending habits in society, but I just want to say, I think it's really important, and I think this is one of many, many ways in which uh, we would be better off as a society if people lived within their means and if people saved more money. Uh, please comment, and if you like what I have to say, if you have something you disagree with, please comment, and if you like what I have to say overall, please consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you.